Okay, ladies and gentlemen, when you see this, I have already had all the all these solenoids on the transmission out, and I have done a functioning test on each and every one of them, um, both electrically and mechanically. And that I have done simply just with a nine volt battery, but I haven't, uh, I had to just take off these solenoids one by one and take them inside and do a functional and functioning test on every one of them and i didn't speak or say anything while i did it because my neighbor just beside me had visitors uh, sitting outside so i didn't want to interrupt them by recording and do a lot of uh, talking uh, because I, I think that's a little bit rude to do actually so uh, I will try to uh, uh, do some texting of which solenoid I remove because I started with that one. Uh, so I will um, put a little text on the screen so you can see which solenoid it is. And I just did it simply, just one at the time because I cannot just take all of this off and remember where every one of them are going but uh, i managed to get everyone going uh, most of them uh, worked just fine but there were a couple of these solenoids that were stuck every one of them are within spec uh, in res uh, resistance on every one of them are in spec even the uh, two uh, slash for brake duty solenoid that's common a common failure on this transmission was actually uh, fine it was just stuck so i had to work with it uh, use some cleaner on it uh, and if you wonder i on these solenoids i've used a math sensor cleaner because you cannot use carburetor cleaner or uh, like brake cleaner or such on these types of uh, fine uh, electrical uh, pneumatic or what you will call it valves they are too brittle for that you need to use something that's non-corrosive so yeah but uh, i have now worked with all of the clips uh, gone through every one of these i have found one that needs replacing and that is if you see down here that solenoid are mounted like downwards that is the torque converter clutch lockup solenoid that stuck i have tried numerous times to free it up no chance it just doesn't want to uh, cooperate it has correct resistance, so it, the electrical circuits within it are fine, but the plunger, or what it's called inside here, utterly, utterly seized. And I've tried so many times to free it up, but it just don't want to, so I have to order a new one of those. Otherwise, it looks like everything else has done fine couple of other valves that uh, also were stuck but i managed to get them going again i have cleaned them thoroughly and functional tested them many many times so i'm confident that i can reuse them so yeah now i will show you uh, the small clips that i have made of uh, taking off each and every of the solenoids and the cleaning process now Removing of the cover this I have done this in a little bit uh, Stupid order really because I do it uh, at the same time as I'm doing the head gasket so uh, Because the air the air filter housing the box are sitting over here and are in the way of Accessing the cover that goes on the front of the transmission. There are also some cooling lines in the way you can remove uh, <coughs> the 
this cover without removing the coolant lines, but it will make the job more fiddly. So I just did it now when everything is removed for the head gasket job. So it's easier for me to do it. If you wonder how the cover are, is sitting here, you can see that on my video that I have called part five, preparing for new parts. I think 11 minutes into that video, you can see how I loosen all the bolts around here, but it's just, I, I don't remember if, if it was eight if it was eight or ten millimeter bolts, but there are serial of the series of them around here. It's it's self-explanatory really. So yeah, if you want to see that uh, part five uh, preparing for new parts video, eleven minutes into it, I'm pretty sure that's correct. So yeah, now let's go on to the cleaning process. <laughs>
Kurve. This red
solenoids on the on this transmission that I didn't record the removal of because I removed this in an early stage to do some testing off camera testing just so I could get a feel uh, how I do it so uh, what you see here is the famous brake duty solenoid that are commonly a failing uh, point on these because they get a short inside of here there's like a wire or how can I explain it it's literally like a fuse that is a, a link like on a fuse that breaks off uh, so this have an internal short uh, so yeah uh, but I have tested this to be actually very good and here is this is the brake timing solenoid and the way this sit in the transmission are you can see there is like a swoop there because these sit above each other like this and are bolted in together and they sit if you can see the two loose wires down there a black one and a sort of yellowish clear one this one are mounted sideways like this inwards like that there are two holes down there uh, I can get under there and show you actually okay so if you see there you have the two wires and those two holes just there we have the brake timing solenoid on the lowest and the brake duty solenoid on the upper hole there just just by uh, side by side each other so yeah okay i think i'll just reinstall these ones because uh, just to show you how this sits since i forgot to uh, record when I took them out so uh, just to make it perfectly clear uh, this is how they are arranged together and you can see here I can just lift the lower ones lower one directly off from that little groove there that's where the solenoid body is sitting down and they are bolted in together so and we have the bolts here so we see if we can wiggle this into place without unnecessary catastrophes you see the holes here Hmm, need to change like this, I think. Like that. Can you see anything? There, click, then it's seated. And by the way, uh, I have taken some fresh transmission fluid on the o-rings that's very important that they are lubricated so you don't uh, pinch them when you push the solenoid in and the last one click like that okay so then it is time to get the bolts in They are quite long actually. Just turn them in loosely by hand to begin with and then go and get the torque wrench because it's crucial to torque this correctly because you cannot over tighten this because you can actually damage the valve body come on 
There we are. Then they are turned in all the way by hand, so I will go and, and find the torque wrench. Okay, so I have my torque wrench ready here, and it's set to eight newton meters. I just try to get this hose somehow out of the there. I think that will help a little bit. There, yeah, yes. There, click. And can you stay out of the way, please? And this one. One. Oh, just to hand tighten it a little bit more. Oh, please, will ya? Oh, Jesus, stay out of my way. Yeah, there we are, click. It's torqued down correctly. And let's refit the connectors. And they are color coded, so you cannot really mess this up. Black on black, white on white, etc. Click, that's in place. And this one, click in place. So yeah, that's it.